A number from Wednesday, kids. Join me as we learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. This is Teacher Jarrell, and welcome to our class. A circle is one of the most basic shapes in geometry. Aside from its aesthetic features, it is a very functional shape, making it the shape of choice for wheels and even manholes. For today's session, we will explore more properties of circles. Are you ready, students? Come on, and let us begin our number four journey. Before we proceed to our discussion for today, I would like to invite you all to a magical learning experience at home with Vibal's Happy Homeschool program. You may enroll in a standalone program in math for grades 1 to 10. Check the link in the description to learn how. As we learn more about the properties of circles, we will answer these three questions. First, what are the parts of circles? Second, what are the kinds of arcs? Lastly, what does the inscribed angle theorem state? Are you ready to answer these questions? Let's go! In this figure, points Q, R, S, T, and U are all three units away from point P. Do you know what we call a set of points having the same distance from a fixed point? Very good! It's a circle. The fixed point, which is P in the figure, is its center. Now, do you know the parts of a circle? Come on! Let's find out! First is the radius. It is a segment having its one end point at the center and at another point on the circle. The term radius may also refer to the length of this segment. Can you identify the radii in circle P? Fantastic! The radii are PQ, PR, PS, PT, and PU. Circle P has radius 3. Second is the chord. The chord is a segment whose endpoints lie on the circle. Can you find the chords in circle P? That's correct! The chords are segments RS, RT, SU, and TU. Third is the diameter. It is a chord that passes through the center. In a circle, the longest chords are the diameters. Take note that a diameter has length twice the radius. The term diameter may also refer to the length of this chord. Now, can you identify the diameters in circle P? Awesome! The diameters in circle P are segments RT and SU. Fourth is the arc. It is an unbroken part of a circle. It consists of all points on a circle between and including two given points. These two given points are the endpoints of the arc. Now, can you find the arcs in circle P? Splendid! Some examples are arcs SR, RQ, SU, and UT. We can further classify an arc as a minor arc, a semicircle, or a major arc. A minor arc is an arc that is smaller than a semicircle. Its measure is less than 180 degrees. A semicircle is an arc that measures 180 degrees. Its endpoints form a diameter. A major arc is an arc that is bigger than a semicircle. Its measure is greater than 180 degrees. Now, can you classify these arcs that I will show you? Just tell me if it's a semicircle, 
minor art or a major art. Are you ready? Let's begin! Is arc AB a semicircle, a minor arc, or a major arc? Great! It's a minor arc. How about arc CDA? Good job! It's a major arc. Last one, how about arc AED? Awesome! It's a semicircle. Good job, students! Now that we know the parts of a circle, we can now proceed to the theorems related to inscribed angles and arcs. Check out this circle. What did you observe? That's correct! Angle APB intercepts arc AB. If there is an angle whose vertex is on the circle, and whose rays contain chords of the circle, we will call it an inscribed angle. In general, an angle intercepts an arc if the arc is inside the angle and each ray contains an endpoint of the arc. An arc is intercepted by exactly one central angle, but it may be intercepted by infinitely many inscribed angles. In this figure, arc AB is intercepted by the central angle, angle AOB, and by the inscribed angles, angle APB, angle AQB, and angle ARB. To prove that all inscribed angles that intercept the same arc are congruent, let's talk about the inscribed angle theorem. The inscribed angle theorem states that, in a circle, an inscribed angle is half the measure of the central angle intercepting the same arc. Let us prove the theorem. Suppose the center O is on ray PA. Draw the central angle, angle AOB. Since OB is equal to OP, both are radii, then triangle BOP is isosceles and so... Angle OPB is equal to angle OBP. By the exterior angle theorem applied to angle AOB and triangle POB, angle AOB is equal to angle OPB plus angle OBP is equal to 2 times angle OPB. Since angle OPB is equal to angle APB, it follows that angle AOB is equal to 2 times angle APB. In other words, angle APB is equal to 1 half of angle AOB. There is another way to prove the theorem. Suppose O is in the interior of angle APB. Let point Q be the other end point of the diameter through P. Draw the central angle, angle AOB. Then from the previous case, since the ray PQ of the inscribed angle, angle QPB contains O, then angle QPB is equal to one half of angle QOB. Also, since PQ is also a ray of angle APQ, then angle APQ is equal to one half of angle AOQ. Finally, we have angle APB is equal to angle APQ plus angle QPB equals one half of angle AOQ plus one half of angle QOB equals one half times the sum of angle AOQ and angle QOB is equal to one half of AOB. We now have the following corollary. In a circle, inscribed angles intercepting the same arc are congruent. To prove this, let's look at the figure where inscribed angle APB and angle AQB both intercept arc AB. From the given theorem, Angle APB is equal to one half arc AB and angle AQB is equal to one half arc AB. Therefore, 
angle APB is equal to angle AQB. That was fantastic, students! Now, let's go back to our three questions earlier. First is the radius, which is a segment having its endpoints, the center, and a point on the circle. Second is the chord, which is a segment whose endpoints lie on the circle. Third is the diameter, which is a chord that passes through the center. And the fourth is an arc, which is an unbroken part of a circle. A minor arc is an arc that is smaller than a semicircle. Its measure is less than 180 degrees. A semicircle is an arc that measures 180 degrees. Its endpoints form a diameter. A major arc is an arc that is bigger than a semicircle. Its measure is greater than 180 degrees. The inscribed angle theorem states that in a circle, an inscribed angle is half the measure of the central angle intercepting the same arc. You did great! I hope you learned a lot about circles today. If you did, click thumbs up and share this video to help young learners like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. And to experience the magical learning at home, check out Vibal's Happy Homeschool program. See the link in the description to learn more. Again, this is Teacher Jarell and see you on our next Number Fool Wednesday.